so if you are excited for my return, the ETA on this will be March 25th. Good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another Spawn PK video. So as I stated previously on the third episode of the Spawn PK Library series, our return was scheduled for March 25th. I've been recording lots of content for you guys during my time away. Episode number 5 and 6 of the Cursed Noob series should be coming fairly soon with lots of big upgrades and very painful fails. Weekly PvP number 33 is still under development, however it is possible that it will release this week, if not this one, certainly the next. The Spawn PK Library is my main focus for this week's video content. I have two really spicy ideas in mind that I think you guys will ultimately enjoy. I did play Old School RS from time to time during my break as well, so I do have quite a bit of footage for that if you guys want an Old School RS commentary video. Loot from 1000 Blood Revenants was very painful. However, I definitely want to get this out for you guys this week as we may be starting a Road to 1000 Superior Blood Revenant series. All in all, I'm really happy with the direction this channel is taking as I feel like I'm able to cover a wide variety of gameplay aspects for you guys, whether that be PvP through weekly PvP, PK commentaries, or even through the Cursed Noob Adventures. It's it's really nice to play the game on a From Scratch account, as I've been playing Spawn PK for several years and I've already made quite a bit of money on my main account. But even on the main account, there are still things to do, like PVMing for example. This isn't my forte whatsoever, but I genuinely enjoy just chilling, smoking, and doing some blood revs. Furthermore, my responsibilities as CM are still effective March 25th as well. I'm going to be doing the Appeal and Offense section on Sunday, so for anybody that has concerns regarding that, send me a DM at phenomenon hashtag 6036. Anyways, that's all I have for you guys for the introduction. Stay tuned throughout the video for some juicy giveaway information, and without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at what we're going to do today. I don't know what I'm going to do just yet, all I know is I want it to be kind of bizarre. I want to do something different than what you normally see at Edgeville. I believe the pet can really open the doors as to what you're trying to do sometimes. Haunted Hellhound pet. So fucking bizarre, like it's so old and not a lot of people know about it. But the effect is pretty cool. Vengeance deals 10% more damage. I'm thinking of like a no armor setup at Edgeville but like use the vengeance to my advantage and then see if I can like notice a difference. But the only problem with that is that pet is gonna like, that's something that I can do circumstantially. Like I can drop it whenever I'm ready to venge. I'm good enough to do that. So like, let's get another primary pet going alongside the haunted hellhound. So what's going to happen is probably a primary pet that protect us. So we're probably gonna go with the doppelganger pet. This basically gives us a little bit more stability since we're gonna have no armor on pretty much. Only thing that sucks about this is that I'm gonna get hit a lot. This is our first chance. I'm gonna go again. Oh! Looks like we got our HP up to 80 before they could spec. Good fight. Hit me. <gasps> There's no way. The blasphemy! You actually just got saved by like a guardian angel, bro. Oh, how are you not dead? Oh my. Dead. Ooh -wee. Good fight, man. There's no way. That probably should have killed him. Seventy nine will throw. Oh my bro, I just specced an eighty. I knew it was coming. <laughs> He's upset. No way, the haunted hellhound almost wiped the floor with him. Yo, this pet is the MVP. I don't think I'd be getting some of the kills I'm getting without the venge stacks. Like that's something that's huge with me. And it's always been known on my channel as well. Like, that's how I started out. It was a bold HP risk of us there. Now he's gonna spec. Way to get your HP up. I respect that. 183. It was definitely a chance. Like DDS can hit 96. I'm basically out of food, so this is our last shot. Oh, I was a second too late, but it doesn't matter. What? Nani? Whoa, bro! Did you see that? Death's Accomplice just perked on my Venge, and I Venged a 74! Straight cash, good luck, man. Let's see what we can do. 
I really want to like hold what I just said. Risking it. Keep in mind, I just risked that with an ink mace risk. Oh my god, it fucking worked. Bro, ink maces are like over 800 bill right now, and I'm out here giving it out, basically. <laughs> oh my fucking god! Oh! That was a massive fucking G-ball. I need this ink mace to start putting in work. Okay, it was the G-mall that now needs to put in work. What the hell, man? Almost got me killed. That's the kill. Look at the haunted hell. What? He survived? Huh? Bro, the haunted hellhound put in work there. I couldn't have asked for anything better. It was an amazing eat, my friend. Uh oh. I'm risking it. I have a double out. Kill me. Oh, that little eat right there. This has been a really fun fight, sir. Good fight, sir. Alright, this is the time where I want to be... Oh my god, my Gmall noodle. That's a scary situation to be in. If he would have hit that venture, he probably would have died. Fuck me, man. It's my fault partially for throwing it so prematurely, but... That's like what you're supposed to do. It's supposed to be unexpected. Quick. That was a nice HP risk right there for it. Just didn't get it. Oh my. I probably should have used the Hellhound, but bro. It's going for the kill. Good fight, sir. This guy just rushed me. Oh, where's the love? Bro, you just wait. No, no, no. Oh, 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 fuck, man. You totally are gonna make him eat. Wait, he's not even eating, bro. He's different. This guy is, this guy is real different, bro. Dead. That's so fucking dirty, bro. The haunted hellhound strikes again. Why'd you rush me, big dog? <laughs> I liked our fights before the rush. <laughs> Sorry, right, though. Yeah, bro, the reason why I didn't like it is because he hello changed me. <laughs> is it a double vent scenario? No. Oh, my. Who the fuck is this guy? Why do you want to fight me so badly? One big tent, and he's deleted. That's not big enough. You ready? Probably should have died there. Look at the clean E into the doppelganger drop. No chances out here, sir. If he hits Finch, he would have died. The Solar Berserker enhance vengeance, though, or does it just heal you for it? I'm risking it. Ooh, never mind. He could have actually chanced us there if I didn't eat. Oh, man. Like, oh, smart decisions. No biscuit. Well, that was nice. Yo, 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 everybody. If you made it to this point of the video, I want to say thank you. It's not over yet. We got some stuff to show off, but I do want to go ahead and talk about some giveaway information. So in today's video, we are going to be giving away a $100 bond to one lucky winner. And then I'm also going to give away an Inquisitor Mace to a second lucky winner. And then this 100 bill cash, we're going to give it away to the first non-edited IGN comment with the hidden keyword return in it. Best of luck, everybody, and let's continue the video. All right, Hellhound. Let's, let's see it. Oh my. Oh my fucking god! No way! No, no! Oh! Bro, he just got- he just got two hate. Like, he died to a blood whip. All right, listen. This is what we're not going to do. We're not gonna 48 cudgel me constantly. Dead. I'm so fucking nasty. Oh my god! I'm gonna try one more time. Unexpected a little bit. There it is. Oh my 82. Yo! Finally! 
It finally hit. So we need some type of range pet. I want to use something really fucking strange. I think I'm going to use the Easter Guardian pet. I had about three of these, but I did sell one and then ended up giving one to my friend. So yeah, they go for about two trill. It apparently increases range equipment bonuses by plus 6.5, including range strength. And then hits have a 50% chance to bypass your opponent's soaking. That sounds broken. So Ancient Crossbow is definitely going to be our plus one of choice. I don't know, man. I kind of want a Dark Bow, though. <laughs> Use both. All right, so I think we're ready to go out there. We got everything we need. We risk the Pernix, but we do keep the Ancient Halo. Let's take a look at the max hit dummy. Our max knife is going to be a 26. The knife spec is going to be a 52. And then, of course, a 98 into double 31. All right, I went ahead and got out the Marauder Gloves as well. I'm gonna do it as a fucking switch. Even though that Swift Love proc may not seem like a lot with the Dragon Knives, it definitely is. All right, our first opponent, it's gonna be range versus range. Wow, that was actually kind of cool to see. I'm gonna put on the Ellie, because I know it's all coming. Yo, well soaked. Eighty-three, he's dead. Oh man, I didn't even need the throwing axes. Well, first spec was a thirty-three. I'm gonna put on the Ellie for just a second. Should be good now. Is that it? Come on, dude. Why'd you have to get in my fucking way? That sucks. I probably would have gotten the kill too. The haunted hellhound. Could not get us to kill. I'm sad. Ooh, a little bit of lag. I'm out of here. That was so close, dude. So close. I could have probably thrown it, but I'd rather just put on the Ellie and not allow him to get that second spec off. I didn't even need the Venge. That's insane, dude. What are these specs, dude? This is literally the person to test out the double Venge scenario with range. Damn, man. Oh, we sniped him, lads. He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> So before this video ends, I have some more Eco Holder Marketplace activities for you guys. So first off, we had Cursed Out selling us the Dark Brimstone Ring and Karazi Sword, alongside a multitude of other items for my Ethereal set and a majority of my Third Age collections. It's definitely sad to part ways with such unique sets, however, definitely going to open up things for the bigger and better, as I have tons of giveaways and content planned for you guys. We ended up also selling the Karazi Sword and Toma Fire imbued for a total of 38 trillion cash to Henry Hill. This was insane. Yep, I got it. Wow, what a fucking sale, man. I wanted to get to that 40, but it's whatever. I got bags of my own. The sword didn't last long with us at all, and our tome is also gone. Thank you very much, Mr. Henry Hill. Honestly, dude, at this rate, I have no fucking choice. I don't want to go crazy and start buying things in the eco just yet. Maybe I'm like putting 400k bags in away on like a giveaway account or some shit. Like I gotta do something because like I want this to be, this is some good stuff for like content. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had an absolute blast making it. The Haunted Hellhound pet has always been one of my favorite pets on Spawn PK ever since it released. It definitely leaves an impression with that extra venge damage. But I wanted to go ahead and talk to you guys about future giveaways and the giveaway that we have on this video before we wrap things up. To put it bluntly, I am going to be uploading as much as I can. Like, I want to make a lot of great content for you guys, so stay tuned by turning on post notifications. And if you guys would like to enter this giveaway for the $100 bond in Inquisitor Mace, all you have to do is be subscribed to my channel, like the video, and comment your game username. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I will be seeing you guys very soon in another video and this is not your average new signing off I can't